Why, Diego Costa? Why do you have to do this? You have to take me away from my plans, which was to drink from now until St. Paddy's Day in my nice Jim Bean hat, my dad hat, on the weekend. You have to ruin it all by doing something stupid, by sucking on the neck of Gareth Barry. So before I get to the actual image or video we're going to throw up of what actually happened, I'm just going to say that if you're a Chelsea fan and you just didn't see this coming, then you're delusional, mate. It's, it's honestly, this is the only way I can describe it. It's like you're... Uh, a guy who's been married to his wife for a while and um, she's been leaving all these signs around that she's gonna that she's been cheating on you and you just bypass them. So you walk in, there's a pair of Calvin Klein wife front briefs uh, on, the, on the ground and you know that you've not wore them. Now you can't pull them off. I mean, it's been 20 years now since you probably could pull them off, but you let that go. And then there's a bag of, uh, or a, I don't know, maybe just a packet of condoms in the corner. Some of them are missing and you're like, I haven't used condoms in about 20 years, so that's strange, but I'll just let that go as well. And then you just continue to let all those things go. And then before you know it, you walk in and then your wife there is, uh, she's chewing on the neck of someone else, just like Diego Costa is chewing on the neck of Gareth Barry. So I'm, I'm happy I painted that picture there for you guys. That's what Chelsea fans should have realized was going to happen with Diego Costa. He's been showing all these signs, kicking out, uh, just being over aggressive and now I understand that's part of his game he's an aggressive player and it adds to it when uh, when Chelsea's winning but when Chelsea are losing Diego Costa is the worst player I think you can have in your team when he's angry and in that mood so take a quick look look at the sheer hatred in his face by the way but Diego Costa it, it was the switch right so he got fouled I understand he got fouled and then he jumps up hatred in his face Puts his head into him, chest into him, probably got himself a second yellow card at that point. Then he bites him, but then puts his, <laughs> his hands around his, the back of his head as if to say, oh, sorry, sorry about that moment, but I was just trying to give you a little love kiss. And Barry's just like, what the fuck is going on? What is going into this guy's head? So he gets sent off. Um, he's probably going to face a ridiculous ban for this. I mean, we see what happened with Suarez, so that's kind of where the standard is. Suarez done it on several occasions, so maybe Diego Costa this being his, from what I understand, his first biting epidemic, um, maybe let off a little bit easier, but nonetheless, man, what what is happening? <laughs> Why are people biting people in football? I don't understand. I've seen the article, I think it was Deadspin that ran it, saying, football disgraced by biting incident. And I was like, it's not really football being disgraced, it's Diego Costa. But then I thought to myself, it's happened more than once. It's happening on a regular occasion. Now, I know in the other sports don't have uh, the best image, but football, we seem to bite each other quite a lot when it comes to these, especially these South American players, wherever Diego Costa plans on uh, saying he's from, whether it's Spain. It seems like it's maybe just a, I don't know, is it a South American thing? I, I don't know why it's happening. Nonetheless, it, it will be interesting to see how... It's dealt with what happens with Lagos like, hitting deals with it at the moment. I don't know. He hasn't commented on the issue, but um, I think Diego Costa had to take a long, hard look at himself uh, and really understand that that's not the way you show that your appreciation, if that is what it was, to uh, a, a nice specimen of an opponent. If it is, if he's got affection towards Gareth Barry. Nonetheless, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, hit me up on Twitter at Francis underscore Maxwell again. Pardon the Jim Bean dad hat, but this is what happens on the weekend. I mean, I am just was like, I'm, I've got to do a video on this. The guy just bit someone. I've got to put the beer down. Well, not put the beer down. I'll just drink it in front of you uh, and, and showcase my thoughts on this. But I want to know your thoughts. So as always, come back, subscribe to TYT.